activity in this small area. HLN investigator, um, producer, obtained exclusive photos of that. So Barb, talk about those pictures um, and what they show. That's right, Cheyenne. So I did speak with uh, some neighbors of Richard Allen who watched on Thursday, October 13th, as investigators searched his house. They saw the investigators arrive just before noon and ask Richard and his wife to exit their home and remain outside, where they did remain outside for the entire day. The entire process took about 12 hours. We have exclusively obtained four images showing that search. In the first image, it is a bit from a distance. You see uh, two men standing. Uh, one has his back to the camera, the other is side to the camera. And just over the man with his back to the camera, just over his right side, you can see the shoulder and head of Richard Allen, who is standing outside of his wife's vehicle. The neighbors tell me that um, his wife sat in the vehicle for several hours. He stood outside of it. At some point, he did get in the vehicle with her. The second image shows him sitting in the front passenger seat of that vehicle. My understanding is that for several hours, while they kept uh, Richard and his wife outside of their home and in the driveway of their small neighborhood that um, investigators also remained outside and as it approached nightfall the neighbors tell me that they saw a uh, Carroll County Sheriff's deputy chief deputy Tony Liggett who they know who is a member of the task force and was on the stage here today he arrived with a piece of paper he took that paper over to uh, Richard Allen and showed it to him and it was after that that a tow truck arrived and began towing his vehicle and the officers went into the house uh, one of the neighbors watched with binoculars as he says uh, investigators came out of the house with several items they had two large bundles of what he described as dark colored cloth per perhaps it was clothing but he said it, it was getting dark at that point and he couldn't identify it for sure as clothing but two bundles of some sort of dark cloth they also took out a Macy's shopping bag and a shoe box the neighbors also watched as two areas near Richard Allen's shed in his backyard were searched. They were described to me as being uh, rather small areas, one in fact being so small that they thought perhaps only something like a bottle cap could have come out of, of that um, that area is still undisturbed. Nobody has been at Richard Allen's home since Wednesday of last week, when it is my understanding that he was uh, taken into custody and uh, in court and charged on Friday. So um, these are images from October 13th from the neighbors. They describe him. They tell me they've lived a, uh, a few houses down from him for several years. They said there was really nothing special about him. He was very quiet. He and his wife had lived there for a, a long time, and uh, they didn't have many visitors over. They didn't have parties or anything like that, and uh, they were very quiet neighbors. They would see Richard when he'd come home from work, and he would sit out in his driveway and, and sit in a lawn chair and have a few beers and a few cigarettes. Uh, but they said there was never any trouble from their neighbors. They had no idea when this search happened, what was going on. And then on Friday, as the news started to break that there had been a major development in this case, they called a family member of Liberty German that they know, and uh, she indicated that uh, their neighbor might, in fact, be connected to this case. Um, so very interesting developments here. Uh, To uh, kind of just reiterate really what, what Doug had alluded to as well is I really do appreciate the media. Some of you I've come to know or we've come to know over the last five and a half years and you've really been uh, very helpful to us and keeping the names out there, keeping this case alive, very appreciative of that. And while this is an, another chapter in this, in this whole story that uh, in our lives, that, that we're going through right now, uh, I want to make sure that we continue that, right? The, the, the next chapter is, is now we're onto the prosecution side, right? And let's keep that, keep that open out there, keep that flowing, keep the information coming in. I want to make sure we get as much information for the investigators and specifically the prosecutor, um, at, you know, specifically at this time moving forward. So with all your guys' help, we keep the information out there and Keep, keep the Curl's name out there, and again, any information pertaining to anything with this case, 
you know, obviously with, with, with the person arrested, but anything at all, you know, please call that in. Please turn those tips in because I want to make sure that that's how we support as a family, right, is keep it out there, asking for help. And, and you guys carry that message back out there for us. And we are so appreciative of that. But uh, let's stay on top of that and, and keep pushing forward because we got another hill to climb and we're, we're gonna get to the top of it. We certainly are. Mike, how do you feel that the suspect, it could, could be a neighbor, could be somebody you've known? Well, Doug Carter said that early on, if you recall. He yep. said he's uh, hiding in plain sight. And, and that's the case. Um, didn't know that I don't know the, the, the gentleman personally at all, you know, so I've probably seen him, but you know, it's a small county, you know, but uh, definitely don't, I don't know him. What How does it your feel? heart, sir, when the last couple of weeks when you heard of a suspect and now an arrest, I mean, tell him it's been so long. It's uh, somewhat bittersweet, you know, knowing that uh, while it allows us to move to the next turn or the next chapter. Um, we still got a big, we, now we got a big mountain ahead of us and, and we're going to stay after it. I've never given, we haven't ever given up and, and you guys haven't given up on us and we're going to keep pushing uh, all the way. All there's, the way. A, there's a lot of information that can't be shared obviously at this time. Mm -hmm. So why is it important to continue and continue with the integrity of the investigation? I want to make sure that we have everything we possibly need and more. I don't want to leave any stone unturned. Becky, how are you doing? Do you have anything that you want to add? Sorry, I'm not talking about Hi. Um, what, what went through your heart when you heard? They told you on Friday, correct? Is that what they um, Well, we were called in on Wednesday and told that they had detained somebody. So we've had a little, a couple more days to, uh, to uh, process this. Um, I don't feel like I thought I would. I've always said that I would be screaming on the rooftops a bit. We're not. It's, it's sad. Um, while there's somebody that's been arrested, there is, you know, our, our lives, our lives for five and a half years have been in a search, search mode. And that's what we've done. And I, you get up and it's like, oh, we're not doing that anymore. So we're all just kind of feeling our way and figuring out what our purpose is now. Sorry. What do we do next? How do we help? That's what we want to know is how, how do we help now to uh, make sure we have the right person, to make sure there's a conviction, to, to come to a total final resolution. Do you Ma think are you there's somebody else that involved? someone else was involved in this that is still at large? That, that, that's certainly a, a possibility, and that's why I, that's why we're keeping it open out there, right? That's why the investigators answered that question as well, as the tip line remains open. So any information pertaining to this case, that's certainly they, I want to get that to the investigative team and let them vet that out. You're fearful that that person or those people no, might not, have I'm had not. a role in, in the actual crime itself. I don't know any of that information, what you're asking. Do you think there's anybody in this town that knew about this and kept their mouth shut? I don't know. That would be speculation, really. I mean, what do you think? It's a small town. Sure is. A lot of people who know each other. Yeah, I'll save those words when I see him face to face. Hey, Mike. Hey, any, uh, sorry, we got here. Any, um, I guess how's it feel to know that this guy, nationwide search, and this guy was found down the street from where you guys have frequented and gone before? Um, well, it's not an area that I really frequent, but, I mean, your point is, is, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, uh, that's why we said never stop searching anywhere, because we didn't know where he was. And like I said, Doug Carter had made mention of that is he could be living right amongst us, hiding in plain sight. And that's that's what came. Tell me just Mike, how you're feeling. Do you have anything to say to Richard Allen? No, I'll save that for when I see him face to face. So what went through your heart and your mind when those charges were read? Um, it was a uh, kind of bittersweet, you know, it's uh I just know that there's another job, another hill for us to climb ahead of us, but we're up for the challenge. We're going to keep after it. We're not going to stop.
Why is it important to keep the tip line alive at this point? Because I want every stone unturned, every bit of information that's out there pertaining to this case. I want the investigative team to have that information. How confident are you that the police have their man? I, that's that's what the courts will decide, right? But I'm I'm confident. I've we, always had confidence in the in the investigative team. What keeps you, you hopeful? Yes, I'm hopeful. What what keeps you hopeful? <laughs> uh, the faith and, and the strength of our family and uh, the fact of the I know how hard the investigative team has worked and and they're non-stop who asked that uh, yeah. who asked that back here. Oh, I, just, I, I wanted to speak about your faith because I know it was important to you if it were your child would you have an option not to be hopeful no absolutely not that's why we're hopeful of you all, there's okay, a, the, the, can I just ask you one question? Maybe you can put a rumor yes. to rest or something. There's a there's a report going around right now that this Mr. Allen actually processed some photos for the family at the CBS. Uh, Do you know if that's accurate? Uh, that is accurate. Okay, and that he didn't charge the family when they came in to claim the photos? That is correct. Okay, and you you know that firsthand. We we are always yeah. careful to be accurate. All right, one more question. Do you we think know the that. media coverage of this has been fair? Has been huh? fair? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, you guys yes. in, the, in the media have been certainly more than fair. I mean, don't, be, don't get me wrong. We've had our share of shots taken at us, and that's fine. And hopefully those people will now be able to reflect in the mirror and say, oh, you know, maybe that wasn't the case. So, you know. Reservations and, th and things like this is always the better case, right? This this the better judgment. We all know that, and that's just how we that's how we are, right? I don't I don't cast judgment on something until I know for sure. And uh, okay, thank you, folks. That's where okay. we're at. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Well, <laughs> Ma'am, thank you so much. I know this isn't easy. I appreciate. Yep. Oh, I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm I really didn't sorry. Mean that bad. No, no, but I just. Yeah, I just, I really didn't mean it.